All right, quick recap. Wait. Oh nope, this is not working. Let's just try it again, okay? Let me just scrap that off, and here we go. Hello again. Still me. I've been figuring out that that might not work for me because so I want to add some personal touch in there, and it's gonna be it. Me, me back at home, talking to you guys about what happened there. So what's gonna be like is that I'm gonna ask myself some serious question. Um, yeah, I wrote some of them down instead of making like a script. That's some sort of telling what I want to tell you. Let's get started. So important things. So what I have to do here is join a forum, fly over there, dress nicely, get out to the conference room. Nice view, by the way. And do my presentation. And if there is some time left, then we do some sort of a Q and A session, and that's all. But then there's something else I have noticed. These guys actually see what's really happening to this world. There's a shared goal that we try to make it to, but as we progress towards it, there's something that's holding us down. Is populism dangerous to the internet? And I also have an extended conversation with some of them, and it seems that we all are kind of aware of the deeper layers of problem that we are all facing right now. Like in those simple things like education. For the most part, it still models after the industrial era. Environmental. Fashion is one of the biggest contributors for the climate change. Even something bigger. We have to pay something for the peace era we have to enjoy nowadays. Or something at hand. It happens around us and we and usually we don't realize that it's happening. And supposedly there are tons of layers of problem that still waiting to be accounted for. But as far as I concern right now, is that everything in the conference room it just only ends just there. This thing that we've been sharing in a forum is useful for the population, but if it's just gonna let them get blown away like some dust, then then what's the point? I'm pretty sure that many of them just put a lot of effort into their work. Everything is just for the good for generations to come. Letting them go into waste, then I don't think our future will be so bright, honestly. Well, I thought this could be a little bit lighter, but that's become some heavy stuff, right? Oh, let's get off somewhere lighter, okay? Yeah. So, on to the next part. Program after the forum is pretty much touring the Taipei and its surrounding. There's a small food trip where they take us to some restaurants. One was hot pot, flashy things. And the other one is some sort of a high-end restaurant. It's called Fortune Gardens, and I think the meal is kind of traditional. And since we were visiting a university, there's a obligatory campus tour. The place is nice, though. We also have a martial art class. It's a kung fu. Okay, cross and up. Pretty fun if you're into it. And after that, the tour just opens up a little bit. We got on a tour bus and met the tour lady. She's nice. Our first stop is the National Treasure Museum. The place is just filled with history relics. The range from porcelain stuff to arts and crafts, which I really like them. And the highlight, the cabbage. No, not not normal cabbage. The jade cabbage. With it, complimentary meat. Very, Very nice. nice. Then we left to the Shinlin Night Market, lively but a little bit crowded. Other than sightseeing, I had some roast chicken and a game of balloon shooting, which I won this guy. He's a pretty big deal there, but I'll get to that later on. The next day they took us uphill, but unfortunately it was a bad weather day, like real bad. Anyway, our first stop on that day was the old mine, gold mine, old. Go. You get the point. And what's there for us to see? A big fat gold bar. And this guy. Continue after the quick lunch was Jufen. Remember the plushie? Apparently, that place just resembled the village from the films. But to me, I was more into the scenic view. Although the whole village just add up. If only it wasn't raining, then it would be the best thing for me. 
We didn't know about the scenic wheel, we came back to the city. We would drop off just outside the 101 building. But since we were all so wet and the wind wasn't so kind, we just hid inside. The 101 mod is pretty much like saying I'm back in Thailand so I don't have anything much to say about it. We just had some dinner and had some chat. Then we went outside. Still shivering. I can't hold my camera. <laughs> but it wasn't as painful. We went part a very interesting noodle shop. Saw a street artist and we ended in a giant bookstore. Oh, did I mention about the 101's wheel? <laughs> Terrifying. Good luck finding the ring. And that's just another day's end. The next day, we get to see the local. We got out to the old train station and met another tour lady. This one's lovely. This one is quite a long walk for a tour, but I get to see their daily lives. We went on the shore, seen some temples, we see the old street. I just love the atmosphere. Did I tell you about the weather? Like yesterday never happened. Honestly, everything seems close to home, like the noodle shop or the live market. After that, we had lunch and went back into the city again. This time, the destination was Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. And that's it. I waste my time on photography. Next step is a sort of an art center. Well, I waste time, look around a lot and also the electronic mall which I didn't film anything or take pictures of anything much. I eventually went to Shi Men Ding. Shi Men Ding Night Market as my friend recommended. It's kinda big so it wasn't so crowded. Kinda like Cologne and Chinatown in Bangkok mixed together. Got a lot of time to myself since I went alone. Seen so many things before I set up for some footage. Time well spent. So that was on schedule, but there's still something I haven't mentioned that I'll forget. So the second night after the hot pot, I and my friends went out for a night. We first got to the fisherman's wharf in an empty hour, just the bridge to see. Stroll down a little bit before we decide to go clubbing. And that's when Taiwan has welcomed me. We missed out the last MRT and had to take a taxi back to the dorm and I got drunk. Shout out to the guy who brought me back in one piece though. The next night I decided for something more chilling. I went out to explore the time a little bit more. I got this idea from seeing those curbs and corners in town along with the nighttime. The footage was satisfying. And I got time to myself, that's also the important part of this video. How? Well, let me explain. This is my first intention for this video. You know those times when you are left to yourself and get to look back, see how far you have come? Sometimes it's kinda put you closer to yourself too. Coming all the way to Taiwan is actually quite a big deal for me since I'm not the kind to go out much. When I was a child, I was so shy. I'm pretty sure I was introvert back then. And with that, the introvert instinct will kick in from time to time. You probably didn't notice, since I got a lot better. Having this introvert instinct kind of rendered me a passive person. I don't engage much in conversation, especially when I'm the starter. Looking back makes me see how less quiet I've become. I talk a lot. Sometimes. It's depending on the compatibility too, I guess. Because if it's something I'm really into it, then I can talk for it for hours. In fact, I was started nicely with one of my friends, but then when we found out that we have the same interest, then it just... Just like that. He's my roommate, by the way. There were also a stereotype things a little bit, which if I were a judgy kind of person, then I wouldn't know how nice they could be. That just made me happy to cross paths with these people. Now, for the time I spent outside alone, part of it was just that I don't want to bother my friends so much since I was trying to get as much footage as possible. It takes a lot of time for me to take photos or video, and if anyone wants to tag along with me, then that person's gonna need a lot of patience. I even had to say no to the time I could have hang out with them. Feel so stupid right now. But in any case, paying attention to detail just shuts me up from the world. It's like I stopped moving and everything are just keeping on a pace. With that, I can see more of what's happening around me. People living their life, 
someone's going somewhere. I see them either fulfilling their purpose or looking for one, either that or they might not even at all. I find myself enjoying that kind of moment, it feels safe, I think. Or it could just be that people didn't mind what I was doing, there was no pressure. Maybe it's just that my brain just toned down during that time, I just let the instinct do its thing. I don't think that much but still, I know what I was doing. It's some sort of a consciously spacing out, I don't know. Anyway, it was relaxing for me as I was standing while everything is a little bit chaotic around me and I get some perspective to the world. You know, people should get more time for themselves because it's good for their mental health. Maybe you get to see that your life is nowhere as bad as you think. Well, you know, Taiwan was a little bit of experience in a short period of time and everything right now is kind of a bit of fussy in my head. But I managed to make it through and so is you guys. Well, it's been great talking to you. Hopefully it was entertaining. I didn't realize how much time I have taken. Anyway, the video is coming to an end and before that, I would like to thanks to the following people. Well, first up is going to be the two university, Bangkok University, mine for giving me a chance to be in Taiwan and Tamkang University for having me. Next is everyone I've met during the time in Taiwan, you guys are great. And hopefully we could get the chance to meet or work together sometimes in the future. And last but not least, the Tamkang University stops. You guys did your best to keep us enjoying the time and everything. I know there were times where you don't know what to do and worry not, it always happens in this kind of job. Just keep it up and that will take you so far. Alright, enough of me rambling. Thank you everyone. This is Plot. See you next time. Ha, uh,